Zer is in the hangar. He is currently selling the Titan armor set from Vanilla Destiny 2. Last time we saw this armor, it was in Season of the Lost, if I remember correctly. I don't know if this is actually currently in rotation, but you guys can pick it up right now. I really like a lot of the sets, uh, specifically for the Hunter. I think the helmet is really good. The chest piece is a really good set if you want to use an astronaut look, and the boots are also pretty good. I would probably stay away from the arms and the cloak, but if you guys have enough to buy them all, I would just suggest that because you might never know. A piece might actually look really good with a certain armor set, and you might actually regret not getting these. As for the actual armor sets themselves, we're looking at the grips, which are pretty, pretty terrible in my opinion. Uh, the chest piece, however, has a 30 in the resilience, which is really filthy. Uh, if you tack on a resilience mod to it, that's a 40. And if you masterwork this, it's a 42, which is, I think, the highest you can put on one stat, which is really wild. Uh, the helmet is decent. Uh, you can you can put in a resilience mod on this, which would turn into a 17. If you masterwork, it turns into a 19. So it'll be a 19 and a 23 which is pretty nice and you have at least one stat on the discipline intellect and strength stats so that's pretty good i would like mobility a little higher but you could always use uh that one mod that gives you 20 mobility uh powerful friend i think it's called and for the legs we have recovery at 30 which is pretty filthy because discipline's at 9 and intellect is at 18 if you master work this and put a recovery mod on this it'll be a 42 on recovery a 11 on discipline and a 20 on intellect so that's also really good i would recommend obviously the chest piece and the boots just because why would you not pick those up as for the titans i think the best piece hands down are the boots i think the boots are the most usable piece out of this whole set i do like the helmet the helmet is really good and even the chest piece can be used for an astronaut look if you're trying to go for that but i think the boots are just the best ones because i've used the, boot, the boots for very very cool stuff like a non-armored look or a very minimal armor look uh, if you want to go for a casual look this is the best boots to do it with i mean there's other ones that are good or probably better but for me these boots are just amazing uh, as for the actual armor set themselves we're looking at pretty pretty me mediocre arms uh i personally don't like anything on mobility for titans and warlocks and this one's pretty terrible because a 15 and mobility is just whack. You don't want that on a, on a Titan or a Warlock. You definitely would want to see at least a 15 go to the Resilience and the two go to mobility. That would have been a pretty good, no, well, a pretty decent one, I would say. Uh, the helmet is decent. I mean, if you put the recovery or if you put a mod on recovery, then you'll get a 22 with a 23 intellect, which is just pretty nice. But I really like high resilience on my Titan so i probably would just pass on this one and then that that leg armor is way too high it's way too high or i mean the mobility is way too high uh and everything else is way too low so i would probably just skip the titan stuff altogether unless you don't have the armor uh specifically for transmog then obviously pick all of it up you might never know when you all of it might be useful one day but that's pretty much it and last but not least we have the warlocks which i think they actually have the best looking helmet uh Everything else is pretty me mediocre in my opinion. I think the chest piece is fine. I think the arms are usable specifically with certain pieces that are minimalistic for, for the armor. And then the boots are very, very close to the Eververse armor from Warmind. So as for the armor themselves, we're going to be looking at the gloves, which way too high mobility for me personally, because I would have much preferred if the 12 was for recovery. But I mean, do you? uh again way too high mobility 19 is way too high i immediately would just dump this uh this one is decent if you don't have something yet but i would ignore this one as well and this is also decent uh but i personally wouldn't get this just because i have better pieces so warlocks obviously just get the helmet but again if you don't have all like all of these i would just recommend get them all if you can afford it obviously because these are pretty pricey at 50 so you're looking at what 250 for each so 750 for all of the armors which is super expensive especially for armor that's like kind of mid in my opinion 
So you're definitely going to want to get the helmet for the Warlock, Titan, and Hunter. I think the helmets just look really cool. But specifically for the Hunter, the uh, I would probably recommend the whole thing for the, for the Hunter because I think the Hunter has a lot of usable pieces. For the Titans, I probably would just get the helmet, maybe the arms, and the the boots for sure the boots are probably the best piece from that whole set and the warlocks just get the helmet and maybe the arms other than that if you don't have the warmind eververse armor then i think the boots are also pretty good steel but other than that i would probably just ignore a lot of these uh, as for the actual weapons themselves we're going to be looking at lonesome with outlaw and opening shot which uh, i'm not the biggest fan i think there's better roles for lonesome uh, seventh Sarah of Carbine with hip fire grip and range finder, which do not meld together because obviously range finder only works when you're aiming down the weapon, and hip fire grip only works when you're hip firing it. Uh, grid skipper with heating up and snapshot sights, but this actually changes. Oh, did they fix it? I think they fixed it. Uh, I tried to do this video before, uh, and the the stat stuff where it was changing on me. Uh, we have toil and trouble with <sighs> threat detector and outlaw. You know, and he has assault mag. I the only reason I don't like it is because it has outlaw. If it had snapshot sights, I would have been like immediate dub, get it. But unfortunate. We have truth teller with blinding grenades, grave robber, and disruption break or disrupt disruption. Uh, yeah, disruption break. Pretty good, especially since it has spike grenades, so you can you can really just go for more damage, or do you want to blind shit, which is really good. And it has disruption break, which might be useful next season. The only my only issue is grave robber. This this could have been a better role. Uh, we have interference of uh, five, no six. I think that's a six. With pretty terrible. Uh, I mean, clown cartridge is nice, but swashbuckler is terrible, and it doesn't have spike grenades, so definitely ignore this one. And then stars in shadow. I don't know. I think this is the one that changes. Yeah, this is the one that changed on me because this one was had an extra on here this is hmm oh see just changed i don't know whatever uh as for the exotics we're gonna be looking at hawk moon with snapshot sites which i would ignore dead man's tail with fourth time the charm with I, I easily would recommend this one easily fourth time is a charm with cranial spike is foul it's so gross because obviously cranial spike does uh, bonus damage on each consecutive hit uh precision hit uh only in pve now but with with uh, fourth times a charm you can just keep adding to that cranial spike and it's so much fun uh as for the other ones we're looking at monte carlo which if you don't have monte carlo it's good to have it because it really does help with melee builds it makes them a lot more usable but if you or if you already have one then i don't know why you would want another one uh mechanist trick sleeve with pretty mediocre rolls i'm not gonna lie to you guys some people might be like well tony has high mobility and if you put a recovery on it's it's, a, it's 19 so which is fair that's a fair it's just for me I, i've seen better rolls and also i don't like mechanist trick sleeves because i don't like something that gives me an advantage when i'm about to die especially when it's a damage bonus on a on a sub on a weapon class that's like very i don't know that's just me Antaeus wards with way too high mobility let's see this one way too high mobility too so these two are pretty garbage if you don't have these two i still would recommend the pickup because Antaeus wards if you just want to be an ape and cut corners with absolutely the most protection you'll ever see in the game then pick it up and for phoenix protocol it's really good for pve i already used my exotic cipher because i did this video before and it had no audio and i ended up getting uh, i don't even remember what i got i got something that i hated so let me know what you guys are picking up are you guys excited for some of the armor that we're getting this season because i'm i get a lot of people asking for certain armor sets are these gonna come back oh is this gonna come back and it kind of makes me happy because I, I feel like I'm helping people out with this armor or this these type of videos. So let me know what you guys are picking up. Uh, if you guys want to follow me on my social media, all that's links are in the description below. Be safe and I'll see you guys later.